Welcome to day two of our trip to Stuttgart. If you haven't seen day one, it'll be linked down in the description or right here. Go check it out and then come back and watch day two with us. So right now we're heading to another tower in West Stuttgart. Now if you watched part one or day one, you'll know that we visited the tallest tower in Stuttgart in day one. So this park dates back to 1939. Before that, it was actually a quarry, but uh, after the quarry was done, they turned it into a park. That was pretty cool to climb up. It was very uh, shaky at the top. It was swaying side to side a little bit, but the views were crazy. You could see all the way to the tower we were at in day one, all the way to where we were this morning at the Mercedes Benz Museum. So now that we're done with the tower, we're gonna go to the gardens in Ludwigsburg. It looks like it's supposed to be a botanical garden and looks really pretty. One thing we've learned about Stuttgart is unless you have a car, it takes a while to get about anywhere. To get from the Mercedes-Benz Museum to the tower we were just at, it took around 30, 35 minutes. To get from this tower to the gardens that we're going to takes another 40, 45 minutes. But if you had a car, each of these things is accessible in about 10 minutes. to the right train stop and now we're heading north. So this botanical garden was originally laid out in 1707. It's been handed back and forth between a bunch of dukes and a bunch of duchesses since then. Uh, in the 1950s, it was modified to grow potatoes. And then in 1954, it was put back to its like original design. And it's been that way ever since. So. So while the garden itself is pretty, it's a little burnt right now, I think, from the recent heat wave that's come through Europe. And the circus tent kind of gets in the way of the actual building. But I'm glad we came here. All right, so now that we're done with the botanical gardens, we're gonna head to the zoo in Stuttgart for a couple hours.
about to go into something called the Amazonian house, which is apparently very humid and uh, houses thousands of plants. So let's see what that's about. I know Steven just said that it's gonna be humid in here, but it actually feels so much nicer and cooler in here than it does outside right now. So this park was originally opened as a park for royals, and then after the wars, it was converted into a public park and a public zoo which explains why it's so massive and so spread out. There are more than a thousand species at this zoo and that is only second to Berlin, so that tells you how big this place really is. Well, I'm really glad we came to the zoo, but now it's time to head back to the Airbnb, get some rest, and then head out and find some dinner later. Well, that was it for today. We're gonna head out and try to find some random things to do, and uh, but that'll be it for the vlog. Catch you next time. Bye.